I guess what I'm asking, because to clarify that this isn't linear, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not yeah. that like glutamate suddenly replaces and isocitrate is out of the cycle now, but rather mm -hmm. it enters and forms more alpha ketoglutarate at the same time as maybe isocitrate has already been made and is going yeah. through that same process. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. for sure. Because every mitochondrion that you have is going to have like millions of isocitrate dehydrogenases all making isocitrate at the same time or or make i'm sorry making alpha ketoglutarate at the same time and so you know like every oh. single one of these things is happening <laughs> like billions okay. of times all at the same time that is so sick but i hate that so much my mentality <laughs> is like you know like the mitochondrion is the powerhouse of the cell meaning there is one we have one yeah things happen orderly and things maybe that was orderly <laughs> maybe that was true at some point in time but then a right. one mitochondrion in one cell somewhere found out that if it made two of each enzyme then it would beat the others and so then all of them started doing that and then, you know, and then oh, oh my god suddenly this makes sense it doesn't just like wow okay that seems so lo logical but like this is genuinely the way i've been thinking about metabolism which is why it's like impossible to memorize or understand rather but like things aren't being replaced things just don't stop correct this is just supplementing essentially yeah yeah exactly and so then there's this situation where you've got like so now you because you know also that you have a reaction where uh iso so you've got like isocitrate plus some stuff right isocitrate plus we'll just say like nad plus is it equilibrium with alpha that's not an alpha with alpha ketoglutarate i'll just write alpha keto okay alpha keto alpha keto g how about that alpha keto g plus nadh plus co2 Mm -hmm. so you know that that's what that's a reaction that sets at equilibrium and so now if we get like a whole bunch of glutamate coming in here turning into this then uh -huh. you know like maybe we're in a state where we're eating the carnivore diet and so we just have a shitload of amino acids that we're that we're pulling in <laughs> right so uh -huh. rather than just like have all those amino acids sitting there we're going to take some of them and turn them into alpha ketoglutarate well that's going to ramp that's going to increase our levels of alpha ketoglutarate so this equilibrium is going to shift this direction across that entire mitochondrion. And that doesn't mean that we're going to take all this alpha ketoglutarate and turn it back into isocitrate. That's not really what's going to happen. It's just that we're going to now slow our production of alpha ketoglutarate. Therefore, levels of isocitrate are going to increase a little bit. I see. And like that um, process shows alpha ketoglutarate can also become glutamate if there's like too much of it, for oh, example. Yeah, for and sure. you just make amino acids instead yeah yeah if we're on the snickers diet and not eating any protein at all just tons and tons of carbs <laughs> uh -huh. then you're going to break down glucose right to pyruvate and then turn that into acetyl coa uh -huh. combine that with some oxyl acetate make it into citrate make it into isocitrate and then all of a sudden make it into alpha ketoglutarate and now we have this there this is that equilibrium as well the glutamate to alpha ketoglutarate situation that's also an equal equilibrium and so since we have really really low glutamate our equilibrium has shifted hard upward here toward glutamate. So you've got alpha ketoglutarate getting shunted into glutamate so that you can still make proteins and stay alive, even though you're being an idiot and just eating Snickers. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Everything just made sense. That's awesome. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like everything really is going to come together in this last month as you, as you, as you that's head downhill toward this. Horrifying. <laughs> Isn't it? It's, it feels good. Everything. Though, you know? like, really yeah. It's overwhelming, honestly. Everything is happening all at once, all the time. I'm like shocked my body is alive. Truly. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. 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 Well, the first, the first rendition, the first iteration of you was one cell because this is a lot to keep track of. And then you got better at True. that. True. Yeah. Wow. The more you know. Yeah. And then as, as you got more and more resources and it became easier because of specialization, you decided to throw a, uh, neocortex on top so you could consider all of it true <laughs> yeah and then it got complicated yeah yeah and then it got worse <laughs> i'm just kidding regrets <laughs> yeah then neocortex wow. figured out how to how to make everything harder <laughs> for everybody <else. laughs> whoa oh that's so cool 
I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the, that's what I'm saying that the end of this process, I think is really fulfilling because you get to see how all the pieces start to connect together. And it really gives you, I don't know, like some hope for why you're learning all this, that you actually feel like you're coming out of the other end of college and prep for med yeah. school with, wow. as a person who knows a lot of stuff. I need that. 